An unprecedented moment in American history. Donald Trump becomes the first former president to face a federal criminal indictment. We're breaking down the charges, what happens next, and how his legal team is fighting back. Also this morning, a man is dead in this wrong way crash in Long Beach. The moment of impact is caught on video. Cars are thrown in all directions. What police are saying about the crash and the other six, six victims. And it may be a good weekend to grab a comfy blanket and cuddle up on the couch. My favorite. <laughs> Shana Mendiola is tracking when we could see a bit of wet weather in Southern California. This is Today in L.A. at 6. Good morning. It is Friday, June 9th. I'm Adrian Arambulo. And I'm Lynette Romero. You like to cuddle up on the oh, couch. Oh, you know I do. And I like to cuddle up with sea otters. Aw, <laughs> so cute. I do like those little sea otters. Me I think too. they're cute. They're, they're little cute. faces. They're yeah. Otterly adorable. Otterly oh, adorable. Oh, got that one. <laughs> Did you say they like to give hugs? Was that what you were saying? Uh -huh. Or they hold hands when they take oh, naps really? so they don't float away from oh, one that's another? So Is that true? Yeah. Have you oh seen my gosh. And no, then I they, love eat, more. they eat urchin, uni. They put a rock on the belly and go toot, toot, toot to break it that, open. Is that what yeah. goes in the secret pocket? And the sometimes food? they have snacks in their pocket that Lynette told us this yeah. morning. So I was like, what's my office this morning? I mean, anybody that has snacks in their pocket and bring it out here, do you want this snack? Do you want this little play ball? And now that I know that they hold hands, I love them even more. They hold hands. I got to find you the videos. But yeah, they hold Aww. hands and they float so they don't separate. Aww. Yeah. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> it's true, it's true. All right, hey, there's a sun above, a sun the, clouds. Ah, yeah. above the clouds again. June Gloom is here. Um, and we're going to see some peaks of sunshine in the lower elevations right. later on today. So that's good news. Like yesterday, you're going to start off with June Gloom. And then as we head to around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in a lot of locations, that's where those clouds are going to start to burn off. And then we'll see these temperatures go up. So for now, 50s and 60s outside Inland Empire temperatures 58 degrees in San Bernardino, some 50s over the deserts, where it's actually sunny up there once again. But this weekend, let me give you a heads up, you are all going to see some clouds here. Like Adrian said, one of those weekends to cuddle up with a blanket because we've got a system coming in and it's going to bring some chances of drizzle for us. So I'll break that down for you here coming up. But today's forecast, 67 at the beaches, 71 in L.A., Orange County, Valley of the Inland Empire, 75 and 84 for the deserts as we head to some afternoon sunshine on this Friday. All right, have a good day, everybody. Let's send it over to Robin with a check of traffic. Thank you, Shana. We're checking a traffic alert. It is all backed up here on the 710 in the northbound direction. We have a crash involving a vehicle that flew Flipped over, and this is northbound 710 at Washington Boulevard. Your two left lanes are blocked, so they are still working with this. Your backup spills all the way out toward the Florence Avenue exit. So if you're leaving Bell Gardens, heading toward Commerce or up to East LA, leave early. And then we're also monitoring a traffic alert in Stevenson Ranch where the eastbound Lions on ramp to southbound five is closed. A tow truck lost the hitch. About 20 big rigs hit that tow hitch and it caused flat tires. Some of them lost the tires completely a little bit. Lynette, Adrian, back to you. All right, Robin, thank you. Former President Donald Trump will be in court on Tuesday to face federal charges. This is in connection with the allegations that he mishandled classified documents after leaving the White House and then obstructed the government's efforts to get them back. The classified documents were discovered last year at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida. Two sources briefed on the matter tell NBC News that the grand jury is recommending seven charges, including false statements and conspiracy to obstruct. And here's what his attorney told the Today Show this morning. Look, he's a resilient guy, you know, this just in. Uh, you know, he's, he's a pretty, uh, pretty tough guy. You know, he was upset for the country, uh, but in terms of him, he's a fighter yeah. and he's going to come out swinging and he'll be fine. But, I mean, that, that was really, to me, kind of the interesting inside part of that is to see him almost immediately start talking about what it means for this country and our criminal justice system and not just about himself. Sadly, a Former President Trump released a video last night on his social media platform, Truth Social, where he fiercely denied any wrongdoing. And the indictment comes just as we ramp up to the 2024 Republican presidential primary with Trump as the clear front runner. One person is dead. Several others are hurt in this terrible wrong way crash in Long Beach. It happened last night on Pacific Coast Highway. It was caught on a car's dash camera. We do want to let you know that the video may be difficult.